Let's see, let's see. Straight. Let's see, let's see.
evening or good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Nicolas. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you, teacher, how are you? Oh, well, just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story. <laughs> really? Yeah, tell me, how are you doing? You're doing better? Uh, well, for the moment, for the moment, I am sick. Uh, uh, for example, uh, I, I need a sleep in the moon uh, in the in the yes uh, at 12 o'clock for for the fever and i i need i need repose you need to rest, Nicolas. Rest. That's the expression, to rest. Uh, thank you, teacher. I need to, to rest. Uh, and other problem with my... Uh, other problems. And uh, for example, yesterday, my... Uh, uh, one uh, muela teacher how do you say muela tooth 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 for example uh, one tooth uh, is fractured broken yeah uh, it's broken is broken and is is very uh, doloroso. Painful. Painful. Is very painful. Yeah, I can imagine. It's it's stressful and painful and pretty uncomfortable, right? Yes. Yes. And I. No can visit the doctor for the for the Omicron. Mm, yeah, I know, I know. I can imagine that it's painful. Yes. Yes, it's very difficult picture. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Well, let's try to rest and let's hope everything improves soon. Okay, teacher. And, and thank you for the next class, teacher. I need. <laughs> the, worry, sorry, the past class. Last class, class, yes. Last class. No the worry, last no class. Worry. No problem, my friend. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Ana Claudia, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm just fine, just fine. Awesome. <laughs> so tell me, how was your day? Uh, well, it was uh, the last day of the month. So you just can imagine that I was uh, closing pending tasks. But thanks God, I accomplished my goal. I surpass. Can I can I use surpass? Yeah. Oh, okay. I surpassed my goal uh, because remember I always try to reach the one hundred and fifty percent because there is a bonus when you reach uh, that revenue. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, because we are always trying to to fulfill our goals and to make it better, right? Hello. 
Can you hear me, Ana Claudia? Do you hear me? Barely. Yes, uh, I guess sometimes there are connectivity inter. Yeah, we always got issues. I don't know, I understand you, don't worry. Let me see, let me see. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. How's everything? I'm just fine, just fine. Tell me. How's projects going on? And everything is going right. The project is, well, today we have a little trouble because around six people don't don't go to work but yeah. we are uh, fixing that and tomorrow uh, we will uh, hire new people and oh, yeah. Um, yeah yeah because we have to end the project in one month oh well, we got a lot of work ahead of you. Yeah. Well, but in a way, it's good. I mean, it means that you got work, your employees got work, and people trust your company, right? Yeah, that's the great. Yeah, that's really great. And yeah, uh, well, thankfully, we have uh well around eight months maybe without stopping work so that's really great and we are making right now some um, budgets to another project but that projects are projects for design okay we are making budgets for other projects for, yeah for Okay. Yes. Oh, well, that's nice. That's nice. Let's hope everything goes okay according to your plans and you can keep on working. That the problem is that nowadays, I mean, this thing with the virus is affecting a lot of companies, right? Yeah, that's really hard. And well, that's uh, affecting us too because, for example, the government. Como uh, <coughs> entities, yeah. Uh, because the same problem of the coronavirus, yeah. The personal is really limited, so the times of they give us the answer of any trámite, um, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, procedure of any procedure is really long yeah but you can also say it uh, yeah yeah in in a bank you say transaction but in this case it's procedure yeah procedure oh, okay well, yeah. yeah i mean when you work with as you say when you work with government entities you have to arm yourself with a lot of patience. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's I mean, really hard. And the clients don't understand that. Yeah. Oh, but the good thing is that you are here in class right now. You can relax a little bit, try to forget a little, for a little while about the, the job. And we are going to have fun tonight. Welcome to the class, Daniel. Thank you very much for being here. Thank, thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. Ambar, we were missing you. Sorry, teacher, but uh, on Friday, I didn't feel 
good because my my job is yeah I have pain. <clears throat> oh, really? Yes. That's so bad. Yes, teacher. Sorry, but I'm here. That's nice. The good thing is that you are here and that's what matters. And the good thing is that you're getting better. I mean, when we talk about health, ooh, it's complex, right? Yes, exactly. Um, uh, Omicron is disgusting. I know, I know, I know what you mean. Yes. Well, I I hope to feel better tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, let's hope everything goes okay tomorrow. And I mean, you know, uh, step by step, we need to take it and things going to be better. Yes. Okay, let's see. A second. Let's see, let's see, let's Second, just a second, guys. Sorry that I'm just fighting with something. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you very much, Amber, and welcome to the class. I am so glad that you're doing better. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, before we move on, let me get the attendance, please. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Present Fernando teacher. Marvin González Martínez. Thank you, Daniel. Sí, that's not Fernando. Yet. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Right on time. Uh, let's see. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Thank you, Mr. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Let's see. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Thank you, Stephanie. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. 
Present. Thank you. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you, guys. Ooh, almost full house. Just missing one person. Let's see. Yep. There was one. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me just get this in order so we can do our stuff regularly. Okay, let's see. Roxana, hello, Roxana. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm just fine. Thank you. Oh, you're just fine. That's cool. How's everything? Tell me, how was your weekend? Well, my weekend, it was very uh, calm because I was at home all weekend. I just uh, visit the supermarket at, sun, at uh, Saturday. And then I was here because I needed to uh, armar. How do you say armar? Arm? Ar arm. What? Armar, armar mi mesa. <laughs> the last time I bought a um, table at EPA and oh. I didn't, uh, no, I haven't. Okay, no, no, no. Look, what you needed to do was to assemble. Assemble. Yes, assemble. I needed to assemble my table yes because arm actually armar directly if you try to translate it like that it has to go with guns but okay. what you needed to do was assemble because assemble. when you assemble is when you put different pieces in order to make something bigger okay 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 i get it That's and the, i was the, the most appropriate term yes please continue. okay thank you and i was working on that yesterday and prepare my little little living room for uh, my son and me because we need to organize a lot of things to work and study them okay that's nice yeah and today it was a busy day at morning but in the afternoon, I think that it was calm because uh, the other areas was working in the um, closing. And now I just check in some reports and work on, in my closing, but I'm not really in my closing now. My closing is uh, coming around um, three days. Yes. And that's it in my in in the afternoon. Uh, I think that it was it was very calm because uh, I have I had a um, a few things like that. A few things like that. To do. So, sorry. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. And what and about you, teacher? Me? Wow. Weekend. Let's see. Mm. Oh, bad. Shopping. <laughs> Supermarket or oh. shopping? Shopping. Okay. <laughs> That's no good. Yeah, I know. You need more money for that. Yeah, I need a lot of money for that because of that. Yeah, I know. I try to don't um, to didn't spend a lot of time on shopping because I need to save money. Maybe um, I, I I will get uh, some vacation um next the next month and 
Maybe I will travel. Oh, really? Yeah. Where you go? Mexico. Oh, really? What part of Mexico? Yes. Where in Mexico? Sorry? Where in Mexico? City. City and I, I'm not sure. Um, the DF? Yeah. But mm. I try to uh, organize with my best friend and visit Cancun, maybe. I don't know. Mm. I love that part of Mexico. It's beautiful. Seriously? Yeah, it is. One of the most beautiful okay. places on earth is Quintana Roo. Okay. It's my I first know. time there. I mean, if you ever have a chance to go to, to, to Quintana Roo, man, visit it. It's okay. beautiful. I mean, okay, thank you. actually, it's it's. Uh, I mean, from Cancun to Quintana Roo, you got. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Playa Carmen, Tulum, Quintana Roo is closer to Belize. Okay. After, let's see. You cross the border, you get to Chetumal. After Chetumal, you're in Quintana Roo. Yeah, in Cancun, it's all the way up, but it's beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I try to organize my week and maybe I can visit Cancun. Yeah, so? nice, nice place. Well, enjoy it. Be good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always. Be good. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. When are you going to take your vacation? I'm not sure. Maybe from 11, no, 12. Mm -hmm. In my classes? Yeah. yeah, but I will connect the chair. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sure. Yes. I have to see that to believe it. <laughs> yes, teacher. I will. Okay, Roxana. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Thank you. Let's see. Francisco, Francisco Eduardo. Hello, how are you? Oops, perhaps Francisco is not quite available. Erwin, hello, my friend. Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Are you? Oops. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was. I was. I was thinking that. The problem was my cell phone. No, 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 no. It's something to do with my microphone. Okay. So, tell me, what's new? How was the weekend? Good for business? Yeah, uh, well, it was almost quiet, the business. Um, I, I, I hope that um, it could be better. School was better, but um, it was a regular weekend of sales. This is the most important part. <laughs> yeah, of course, I understand you. And I mean, ooh, it's, I mean, in your case, it's sales, everything, right? Well, it's uh, a mix it's the biggest, of- Well, yeah, but it's a big, it's a big chunk of the business. Yeah, we need to, well, me, I need to uh, warranty, garantizar. Yeah, warrant. To warrant. Warranty, yeah. Okay, I, I need to warranty uh, good services and quality, 
quality of the food, um, cleanliness, um, many, many things. Uh, but the, the, the best part is when I have the report of sales. So it was really, really quiet, but we have, uh, the, uh, in this time, we, we can enjoy um, the best uh, sunset in our position, the position of the, the, the restaurant is the best to, to 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 watch every day the best sunsets sunsets yeah of course i mean that's something special right yes and i think that every day is different uh, you can the opportunity to have um, a different point of view or uh, the views of the sunset are different every day. And it, it's a, a, a good place, a good city, the, the town of Tunco, because every day the, there are a lot of uh, different kind of entertainment too. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's completely true. I mean, mm -hmm. over there you got different options, right? Yes, 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 yes. Many things to do and many things to watch. And well, it, there, there is a lot of activities. And for example, for this weekend, we, we are going to have the champ, the, uh, uh, a champ championship of, of surf. This is for surf kids. Championship. Surf championship, championships uh, for kids, uh, but this um, is a worldwide championships. So it's gonna be in the ISA always International Surfing Association, but only for kids. The ca category. Uh, the, the categories, the categories are, is gonna be kids. Uh, yes, uh, fr from four years old uh, really? until sixteen. Uh -huh. That's nice. It could it could be interesting. Yeah, I can imagine. It's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. well, let's so, go. Uh, it's, it's translating good business for you. Yeah, yeah, because uh, they are our guests in the hotel. Oh, you're uh, hosting. We have, yes, uh, we have three hotels in the corporation, and uh, all of our hotels are busy for this time with these people. Great, great for you. Hey, Erwin, welcome to the class. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, teacher. Nice to see you again. So you too, my friend. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. <coughs> Good evening. Good evening, Maria Alejandra. We were missing you, Maria Alejandra, on Friday. Yes, teacher, because... You went to party with Rosanna. <laughs> No. Um, I know, I'm <laughs> I took my COVID test in the night because I have a, I had a lot of symptoms. Yeah. And my granny and my um tío, uncle, no. Uncle, yeah, sure. Uh, uncle um is they positive? Um, is they positive? Uh -huh. And uh, I have a lot of pain in my throat or my garganta. Uh -huh. Oh, really? A sore throat. Uh -huh. um, but is they negative with my, or the test stayed negative with my sister? But oh. how? It's good, 
But my problem uh, was uh, all the pills give me a lot of um, sleep, a sueño. Oh, really? Oh. Yes, in, in Friday when I was at work, I stay a bit like zombie because I make a lot of mistakes <laughs> with my work. <laughs> and, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Janira told me that she's still fixing all your mistakes. She's still <laughs> fighting with them. Yes, she's but... working hard. <laughs> yes, because uh, I was uh, past my closing today, but I, I could close. I okay. work very hard. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Welcome, Maria Alejandra. Thank you very Thank much. You. Well, talking about closing. Fernando, how's the closing going on? Tell me, my friend. Hello, teacher. How uh, is the white moment of the closing? <laughs> How is it going? Um, a lot of work, teacher. Today I have many activities to do. And I, I, I have activities for after the class. Oh my gosh. So tell me, what time do you plan on finishing your activities tonight? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sincerely, I don't Oops. know because uh, some activities are about research and get better and, anal and analyze. analysis. And analysis, sorry, and analysis. And I don't know. I don't know how many times I, I need to finish. Okay. How much time? How much? Sorry. How much time? How much time? Okay, and the pronunciation, Fernando, research. Research. Yes. Oh, yeah, I okay. understand you, man. Sometimes, I, I mean, sometimes it happens to me that I finished class and then I need to start preparing something. And the problem is that when you realize it's like 1 a.m. or 1.30, and I don't know if it happens to you that sometimes when it's that late, you feel like uh, when it's like 2 a.m. in the morning, you feel like, man, if I go to sleep, I'm going to feel worse tomorrow. Yeah, it's but when you are busy, you you are not aware of the time. Yeah, but the problem is that sometimes I mean, sometimes even if I mean, you turn off your computer, you go to bed, but you cannot sleep. Uh -huh. You because just still thinking is, about yeah, the problem. Everything is turning around on your head, man. That pisses me off. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 complicated. But yesterday, I I I, I was relaxing in my house, preparing to to my week. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that actually that happens to me yesterday. I went to sleep around two, and today I woke up around four. Oh, four and at noon. Yeah, four a.m. Four a.m. Oh, yeah. I went to sleep at two a.m. and I woke up at four a.m. So I slept like two hours. And tonight, I don't know yet, <laughs> but I know that yeah. tomorrow I need to be up around five again. So yeah, I can imagine. Some, sometimes, well, you know, sometimes it goes like that. But as we always say, it's part of the game. What can we do about yeah. it? Yeah. What yeah. can we do? That's the problem. You know, we have some bad habits like eating, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. We need to work, only work. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fernando, yeah. nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? Uh, in my case, so far, so good, teacher. Just I have one bad news that I got one demoter that is uh, one um uh, from one customer with a bad score today 
the last day of the month. So that the bonus wear me down. Yeah. But yeah. well, was a really good um, customer interaction, but I don't know why the customer decide mark uh, uh, the, the bad score. I guess that was a customer confused. There's a yeah, customer mistake, yeah. Happen. But can well, what can I say? Yeah, I mean, let's hope next month goes better. Yeah, I think so. I think so, teacher. But still, it's, I mean, it's still sour to, yeah. to, to get that in the last day of the month, man. It's like, uh, yeah. it's for I sale, the flavor actually. of yeah. the bar. Yeah, it's a bittersweet what? What? situation, yeah. right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, but what can we do uh, about it, as you say? Occupational hazard picture. Yeah, that's right. Occupational hazards. I mean, yeah. no way out of them. Yeah. Yeah, because my, my boss told me that uh, the interaction of the customer was really good, but he doesn't know why the customer score me like that yeah sometimes as you say sometimes they get confused yeah yeah i think so most probably that's what happened yeah let's hope yeah, next month right. goes better for you my friend and welcome to the class thank you very much for okay. being here thank you teacher mr rosario hello Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, I feel very good, teacher. Tired as usual, but very well. Tired as and you, usual, teacher? very well. Uh, you know, always working a little bit, trying to deal with all the stuff going on around and still kicking it. I mean, nowadays, if you wake up and you breathe, you're happy. <laughs> yes, teacher. You're right, teacher. Um, and today, to, to me, it was a, a very busy day because I had to cover the position of a, a colleague. Colleague. Uh, colleague uh -huh, who left with work disability. Mm -hmm. Do the... Uh, how do you say suspicious? Suspicious. Uh -huh. Suspicious of the virus. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, there was a lot of work to do. Yeah. I don't understand. You know, that thing is kicking hard right now. <laughs> yes, teacher. I mean, we got to be careful. If you go yes, out on the street, you got to be careful all the time. Yeah. I mean, you can, you have to watch out for for everything because you don't know if you can get it. Yes, it's, a, it's necessary to be careful. Yeah, you got to be pretty careful. Yes, okay, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Wilfredo Guardado, hello, how are you? How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. Fine. When Fine. do you want to go back to work? Um, the next, um, let me see, um, February 7. Oh my gosh, you still got seven more days to go? Yes, yes. Man, right now, if I were in your situation, I will be like going up the walls, you know? Yes. <laughs> For me, it will be like crazy. I, I don't know if, I mean, oh, yeah. I know you have to stand it, but for me, it will be like crazy to be just yeah. home again for, and I mean, not going out, uh, I hate it. And sometimes 
it is it is so boring because um, I <laughs> I go to job every day. I wake up uh, around five 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 a.m. But um, always um, this last week uh, five a.m. I wake up and and get up because I I can sleep more. That's bad. Yes. That's really bad. Yes, but um, I drink a cup of coffee very, but very you're early. you're doing better. I mean, no more symptoms. No, no, no. I'm okay. I'm okay. Nice. Yes. Glad to hear that. Last, last hear week, that. Um, I, I remember two days, I feel so, so flu, but little, little. I felt. I felt. Yes, yes, I felt. But now it is okay because I I don't have any any symptoms. That's nice. That's nice. So but, glad to hear that. But, Those are yeah, good but, news. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Would Those you repeat? are good news. Ah yes, yes. Um. But the the, the travel teacher. The problem is it is that. I, we have to say stay home because we yeah, can go over I there. Know. Yes, yes, it's okay. Yeah, I know. Today, I know what you mean. Yes, today I do. I did exercise with um with my my needle. Well, actually, actually, Wilfredo, exercise is a verb, so you can say today I exercise. I exercise. Yeah, Five. you can you can use it like ah. that. It's a verb. To exercise. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, that's nice that you can do exercise. So you are doing better. That's great. Yeah, because um, sometimes we touch the ball to come high in ratito with my children. And mm. then we kick the ball around. We kick the ball around. Kick, kick, kick. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Kick. We kick the ball around. Well, that's cool. It I is. Mean, it is when you talk about salimos a tocar. Yeah. Ah, okay. We kick the ball around. Ah, let, let me write yeah. it because it is new for me. Well, <laughs> actually, you can say it. You, we kick the ball around some. It sounds weird because you say. You stop the sentence with some at the end, but it's that's the way we use it. We kick the ball around some. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's nice. Well, so glad to hear it. And welcome to the class, Wilfredo. Uh, thank you, teacher. Well, guys, welcome everyone. I mean, welcome uh, her, Janira, Nuria, Roxana, Marcella, Stephanie. And Rebecca, but we need to move on. Walter, I'm sorry, welcome also. I saw him, Walter was like, hey man, what about me? I'm here. Frank, Frank was here pretty early actually connected. Guys, I got a very interesting question. Let's hope you don't get with somebody who is from the same company. I got two questions for you. I need you to tell your classmates about what do you like the most about your job? And then the opposite. What do you like least about your job? I mean, there are always some things that we like a lot and there are some things that we get like, uh, not really my thing, okay? So that's what we are going to be working with. What do you like most about your job and what do you like least about your job? Those are the two questions that you are going to be working, okay? You're going to be working in groups of three members. So groups are created. Just let me check on something. Okay, guys, let's jump in, please. You will have five minutes to share your info. I will be jumping from group to group. Let's do it.
you have you you need to get a um, relationship with another co-worker but yeah only only at home i i guess it, it will be it will be so boring for me yeah but, it's complex it's but, sometimes it's complicated uh, because the family the noise <laughs> yeah and you are in a meeting and some person talk to you and <laughs> Nothing, I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe uh, when your son are in class. Ah, uh, yeah. That morning. You need a uh, nanny. Imagine. Uh, yeah. Imagine. Are you working from uh, office, right, uh, Wilfell? No. No, I, I, I am. I am free for, for 15 days. Oh yeah, you're on vacation. Yeah. I I called to my boss I and, you. and I told him if, if you want I can work at home. But no, it isn't done. It is no no not necessary now because uh, my coworker uh, he can he can can do my my job too. But last last year I I I covered him for two months. Mm -hmm. He has he had an accident in a motorcycle and. I was working very hard because I have to cover him from all uh, November and December. But okay. now I, I I need to I need to rest. Hello, yes, <laughs> no problem. Nice. Yes, but in my case, I <clears throat> I guess that I I like most about my job. It is my schedule because I, uh, always I work. From Monday to Friday, I have my weekend free for make, uh, make many many activities and play nice. and play soccer. I I I love this my schedule and that the like least about my job maybe the person who work on there. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, because because my job I, I have to I have to to how do you say tengo que tratar? Or I have, I have to, to help. try, no sé. I, I, I don't know. But I have to help every every moment when the people are asking for help because my job um, it is necessary to know and 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 have an enough knowledge about different styles around 300 different styles we have to pack every day but we have to get many many information but it is it is so complicated because if we don't have um if we don't have the information right maybe we, we 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 will have a um wrong errors and, and defect yes yes but sometimes we have to we have to repair many many production yeah. and so do you yeah. need to be available for the rest of the co-workers yes Yes, I guess. Such a bus. Well, Fred is the chief. Excuse me, will you repeat? Such a bus, como, como el jefe. I mean, a supervisor. Like I, a I boss. Guess. Like, like, like a bus. What yeah. is the difference when you use such a bus or like a bus? What's the difference? Such a boss, like a boss. I remember that when you use such is a, you use such when you need to compare. No. Yeah, it's just that, ah. Uh, okay. If you say, ah, oh, Wilfredo is such a boss, 
you're saying like we feel is todo un jefe. Uh -huh. If you say Wilfredo is as a boss, you're saying Wilfredo is como un jefe. Uh -huh. If you say Wilfredo is like a boss, you're saying, ah, Wilfredo, la idea que transmite, perdón que le explique en español, la idea que transmite es algo más cercano a decir que eh, cumple funciones como de un jefe. Oh, ok. Okay. You got it? Yes. It's just that, I mean, I use such, but yeah. I don't usually translate it. So for me, it's kind of weird to explain it. Okay, okay, I get it. It's just that such, sometimes you use it to say something like tal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like okay. is used to say como. And today we are going to to be working with the comparative, actually, as. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. No, the boss here is Fernando. Fernando is the boss here, no? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I am the cat. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I am the, 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 the big, big cat. The, the big C &D. C &D. <laughs> The big cat. Nah. Yeah, the, the big house. <laughs> yes. No. No, no. In my in my team, we are only one boss. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, the problem is uh, is uh, uh, today I uh, I am going to work. And this oh. morning I I I am with uh, my company. Uh, transportation. Transportation. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. The, 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 the reason, but uh, in this moment I'm here. Okay. Is that one of the things you like from your job or you dislike? Well, uh, I think it's the, 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 the thing what's like uh, this is a uh, uh, the opportunity the, is uh, 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 to know a uh, new technology uh, because the the, the company uh, uh, had a uh, uh, technology that uh, in the in the country is is, is new. It is a uh -huh. uh, uh, but the for. Uh, this point is, is a, a good uh, professional experience. Ah, uh, okay. And the 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 things is like uh, is the uh, I think is 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 probably no not a, a problem, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I think the the routine uh, mm -hmm. because uh, we have uh, the operation the same uh, everything is the most uh, the the same uh, step uh, everything <laughs> ah the same For, way to do the things you say it's like a routine yes, mm. yes. Uh, uh, but, but uh, i think it's it's not a a, a problem mm -hmm. but uh, this this is the 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 idea guys mm. good Good to hear that. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. Hi. We already express uh, every one of us what is what are the things that we like from our job, and that was the question, right? And what were the things that we don't like it? Yes. Ah, okay. We already share our points. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice, interesting. We are almost going back because it's okay. time for me to get the second, the second attendance actually. Okay, wow, so fast. Yeah, mm. time flies. Mm. Time flies. Hey, teacher, by the way, 
teacher, are you still there? Yes, tell me, yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, in the platform, I'm sorry, but in the platform, uh, there was uh, in the task 1.7, I'm pretty sure that I answered in the correct way, but is it still uh, showing? And the number of the exercise? Number two. Uh, no, no, 0.7. It's 1.7. Oh, 1.7, and it's the task and the sentence number two. Okay, I will tell I'll you. Check it out. Uh huh. Yes, because I don't know if it's uh, something with the platform, because in order to get them uh, with a good uh, qualification, I took off the, the end. Uh, qualification? The, uh, grading, you mean? Uh, uh huh. It's with no. I mean, in order to get them in a with good with a mark, no, with a green mark, uh, I removed the uh, the period at the end <laughs> in all of them. But this one is make me crazy. <laughs> this one is driving me crazy. It's okay. This one is driving me crazy. <laughs> okay. That's the way we use. It. Okay. I'll check it out right now. Okay, thank you, teacher. Ana Claudia. Uh huh. You are working for a call center, right? Yes. You are a agent, an agent. Yes, I am an agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. I work in Most sales. I'm sales. Uh -huh, okay. I work in sales. A sales representative. Ooh, yes, sales representative. When the money is in the air. No, no. <laughs> you, you need to work hard, but that you can get it. Yeah. Okay. You were in a call center too. I remember you told me. Yes. Uh, uh, in uh, let me see. Uh, Okay, let's see, let's see, just a second. Anna Claudia, I got yes, the shipment. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can I tell you how I grow and I work? Yeah, please. Okay, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Okay, you're placing a I period the same. No, there is no period. I have the same problem. Uh -huh. yes, I had the same problem. <laughs> I guess it's an issue with the platform yes. <laughs> because yeah, we got it yeah. correct. <laughs> and I need to took off all the periods I was telling to the teacher in yeah. order to get them. Mm -hmm. And also I use the, the capital letter at the beginning of the, the sentence. Exactly. Yeah, the Doesn't matter. The and shipment you know, will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. I don't know if something missing. Do you know even what I did is I copy and paste all the pieces, every letter, because I remember in the last, the previous course, there was an issue like that. And in that way it worked. But in this one. Just let me check in this one, right in this mm -hmm. one. Just a second, guys. Okay. 
Oh, it's so weird because actually, uh, I, uh, I am watching the answer and I'm getting exactly the answer. And still get it, it gets it wrong. Yeah, I need to report it because it's kind of weird. Because, yeah, I got it like that. Ah, okay. Exactly like that. And actually, the system tells me that that's correct. But only on your but, computer, maybe? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, the situation is this, my Claudia. Is uh -huh. that uh, my user, I can get the, the answers directly. So, uh, I mean, for me, it can... It can show me the answers of each exercise. So uh, what I just did was copy the answer according mm -hmm. to the system, what the system recognizes as the correct answer, mm -hmm. pasted it, submit it, and it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I need to report it because there's something, there's a little glitch in there. But for our knowledge, that is the correct way to grade it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Ah, it's okay. Correct. okay. It's completely okay. correct. Okay. Thank you, Rich. Okay, guys. Well, tell me, let's see who, 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 who's going to be. Marcela. Hello, Marcela. Hello, teacher. Tell I me. had the same well, problem than Claudia. And yeah, I was not. To fix it. We <laughs> to I didn't fix it. text to you. Thank okay. you. No, but it's good that you let me know so I can report it and perhaps they can fix it. Okay, let's see. Uh, tell me, Marcela, what do you like most about your job? Well, I was talking with Amber and I said to her that... I told her. I told her, I'm sorry. I told her that the, the my favorite part of my job is that I help people. Mm, I solve people problem, people's problem, because well, I will give you an example. Mm, sometimes people buy properties and they don't do the document, and they come to us. They come to us and tell us what can I do. Maybe they think that they will lose their money, their the property. And we we give them a, a solution, and that's good because sometimes it's people that maybe don't doesn't have too much money, and solves their pro problems. It's graceful for us, and maybe that's the, the the and I can give you a lot of examples cases that comes to the office and helping them is the best part. In okay. my job. Yeah. So that means that what you provide is guidance, right? Guidance. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's like assessoria. Yeah. Guidance. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Interesting. Interesting. Very nice. Let's see. Frank, what about you? Tell me. What do you like most about your job? Teacher, um, well, in my case, the best part uh, of my job is that when when I I have to to travel outside the cities for 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 jobs for some project, and I have the chance to to meet new people to to know about about his work and. Uh, in a, a lot of cases, I have to work in, in, in a rural area with agriculture, agricultures. So it's very, it's the best part, uh, the chance that I have to, to know the experience of, of, that, of that people, because in so many cases, they know more than, than us, right? In, in that specific 
topics of agriculture or practice related with, with that with that area. So when when I when I I am outside the big cities, the big the San Salvador especially, uh, I don't feel the time right. So I mean the time passes very quickly. So it's very enjoyable uh, that 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 part of, of my work okay what you mean is when you are in the countryside countryside uh, that is out of okay. the cities and okay. example we say it here okay so rural rural areas rural areas doesn't... rural areas specifically when you refer to rural areas you say the countryside countryside okay thank you oh thanks thank you. you interesting very interesting let's see let's see let's see let's see one more i got time for one more i'm sorry guys oh my gosh no i don't i need to get the attendance so sorry Gee, time's flying. Just a second, guys. Sorry, we need to get the second attendance. Let's see. Uh, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Sayeda Valencia. Present. Edwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Present, teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio, thank you, Marcela. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. And Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Okay, let me see. So if we gotta do something different right now. Let me show it to you. Okay, guys, how to express comparison with as, as, and not as, as. Okay, remember when we use these for making comparisons, these are comparisons of equality, okay? Igualdad, to be consistent. Look at examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. When we compare, when we compare people, objects, or ideas, and we want to show that they are the same or do something in the same way, we use the form as plus the adjective or the adverb plus as. So getting the right product is 
as important as getting the right place to sell the product. The company adds as much value to distribution as they can. And remember also that whenever we are talking about comparisons, they can be affirmative, but they can also be negative as the examples we got here. My distributors are not as fast as the ones you partner with. The shipment transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in their advertising. Okay, so that means that uh, like for Jose Wilfredo, uh, let's hope that next month is not as bad as this one, because this one, he lost the commission just for one. So in this case, it was a, com a negative comparison, okay? Let's hope uh, Erwin's business do as good as he expects for the upcoming event. So in this case is affirmative. Remember, we are talking about the same level. Things are the same, okay? I like this course because you guys are as participative as you were in the previous one. You are speaking a lot. And that's something that I like, okay? Teacher, so in the negative way, uh, I must use not before this formula, the- Yeah, not um, as. It's not us. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. In this case, I mean, to be to be specific, guys, and mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I will explain it into I will say it into Spanish, but it's gonna be um, it's gonna be so easy for you to understand it. El primer as para nosotros sería tanto o tan, y el segundo sería como. Mm, okay. Okay, as simple as that. How? Let me show you in the examples. Look, retailers help you produce tanto o tan much profit como as wholesalers. You see? Pretty, pretty easy. Now we got these beautiful sentences that are giving you headaches, right? So let's <laughs> That's see. Right. Ana Claudia, tell me number two. Uh, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Number three, Jose Wilfredo. Number three is Product. Mm -hmm. Product transportation is as expensive as a storage capacity. Perfect. Walter, number four. Number four. Yep. Some channel distribution strategies, strategies, strategies are not as efficient as others. It's efficient. Efficient. Are, as not, are not as efficient. Thank you. And number five, let's see, number five goes to. Mm -hmm. Mm, who's going to help me with this one? Roxana, you've been pretty quiet. Okay. Uh, if, let me see. Um, selling? Selling or digital courses? Uh 
Uh -huh. Throw a store if not as no. Yes, yeah, if if not as prof profit tables as distribute distributing them online. Perfect. Selling or digital courses is no selling or digital courses through a store is not a profitable as Distribute them. Distributing, <laughs> distributing on, distribute. Como distributing? Distributing. Distributing them online. Okay. Remember, through, 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 through. Yes. Okay. Some... Maybe we got confused with throw. <laughs> no. Through, through. I have a dog. Through, through, is. Verdad. Through. A través. I, I have a and dog. Through. Teacher. Through. Like this. Yes, Frank, tell me. The second one could be, I don't know if, if, it, if I'm wrong, could be as soon as the, the payment is received, the, the shipment That's will it. be delivered or not. As soon as the payment is received, the shipment. Yes, you can do that, but you need to get a comma. Oh, okay. Because okay. you are saying two sentences. If you yeah, structure yeah. it like you say, you're saying two sentences. Okay. And you need to divide them with a comma. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's continue. Next. Teacher, a, a question, teacher. Yes, tell me. And the. Uh, and we are going to use in the point at the end. Yes, but not in this exercise. In this specific exercise in the platform, no. Okay. Este oh, ejercicio okay. específicamente en la plataforma, no sé por qué se les olvidó poner el punto. Entonces, si le ponen punto, no se los acepta. Ah, por eso que todas salieron malas. Yeah, Walter, this exercise is problematic. Ah, okay, no problem, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome, but you can fix it later. Puede arreglarlo, no problem. Okay, let's see. Now we got us a task. Okay. Okay, let's see. It is important for the retailer stores to know the strengths and weakness of the competition. What is your opinion about the following? The customer is always right. Okay, guys, now discussion. We are gonna talk right now. Tell me, the customer is always right. Nuria, what do you think about it? I'm really sorry, teacher. Could you repeat, please? In the Zoom chat, I texted it. The customer is always right. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What's your take on it? Not always uh, the customer is right, teachers, but it's a strategy in the in the in the in the in the business that you have to say that customer uh, has a it's a right because if you si no le das el La razón, if you don't give to the customer the reason, maybe they can go to other, to other place to buy the things he need or she need. Okay. Okay, fine, fine. Good point. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Erwin, hello, Erwin. Hello, teacher. Tell me, the customer is always right? Yes, of course. It's okay, always right um, because he's your boss, your, your real boss. Um, some, uh, the, the, the owner of Walmart says that the only people, the only person that can hire you is your, is your customer because if they don't go to your place, <clears throat> uh, you you don't have nothing to do. 
So he's always right. They are always right. Okay, interesting point. Let's see, let's see. Uh, hmm. Who works in a similar area? Ambar, what do you think? The customer is always right? I don't know. Maybe sometimes yes, and sometimes no, because uh, some clients try to, how do you say, aprovecharse? Take advantage. Take advantage in some situations. And I don't know, it, it's like a manipulation about the price, for example. Uh, when they compare the price with another company. I don't know. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. What's your opinion? Um, Rebecca, what do you think? The customer is always right? Mm, I think no. <laughs> Because sometimes the, the customer never know what are you doing for the use best in your job. And all sometimes uh, start to critica. criticize. Decide. No, how do you say it? Criticize or judge. Judge or criticize. Ah. <laughs> okay, I start to read this side to you when you try to help them. So I think not all the time have the reason. Okay. Let's see. Just a second. Criticize. Criticize, Erica. Now let's see the last one, the last one, the last one. Uh -oh. Jose Wilfredo, tell me, the customer is always right? In my opinion, not the jury. I guess that that phrase is a, a bad habit that the customer has. Because why? I like customer if I want to get uh, or I want to buy a, a product, I have to pay the cost of the product. So that's that's why I think so that this phrase is a bad habit. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, depending on our areas or perhaps uh, experiences, we got different opinions on this type of topics. And it's interesting that you guys uh, feel free to, to express your ideas. Now let's continue with the my exercise. Work, my, yes. My work, my work, my work area is very sensitive in this thing. Yeah, mostly nowadays that people has become oversensitive about many aspects. <laughs> and that's also, yeah, and that's something else that we need to take into an account because I mean, when you say the customer is always right, ooh, as I tell you, nowadays people are not sensitive, Erwin. They are over sensitive. Yeah, and I mean that's true. Some, mm. sometimes sometimes the demands are uh, from some customers are not ridiculous, just unreal. And yeah, I mean, trying to provide the best of service and trying to, to always show, project a good image of your business, sometimes push you to try to accommodate to all their demands. But uh, sometimes it's perhaps if it's, if not impossible, it's pretty hard. And as you say, your area is pretty sensitive and People nowadays is pretty demanding, a lot. Yes, that's true. 
well, as I was telling you, that's my opinion. That's my point of view. But remember, this thing, it's pretty open. Let's continue. Okay, now we got here an excerpt about tips that successful retailers implement. We have to read and then answer the comprehension questions below. Okay, now the following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Let's see. Prioritizing is key. Okay. Please, Nicolas, how do you feel? Can you read this, please, for us? Prioritizing is key. Sorry, teacher, please, please. Can you read this? Okay, all. Yeah, just, okay. just this, just on okay. TV. Okay, prioritizing is key. Scheduling time scheduling, limits, scheduling, scheduling time limits and deadlines, even as your own boss, can help make retailers stay focused and own a cash deal, eliminating extra time spent where it should should be, shouldn't 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 be. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Uh, Wilfredo Guardado, letting go is a must. Um, letting, letting go is a must. Uh, successful. Retailer analyze the situation as opportunities to learn from versus bearing themselves up over. The more retail know through hard data, the better they are in supporting. Let me let me check. Supporting their customers. Their customers. Okay. Now, in this one, we must be very careful, Wilfredo, with uh, no pronunciation, with intonation. Just listen, please. Successful retailers analyze these situations as opportunities to learn. I'm sorry, as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Okay. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Now, Ana Claudia, training staff is vital. Okay. To invest time. Eso. <laughs> I was, I don't know if it was my computer with that big <laughs> square. Okay, training staff is vital, right? The key yeah. is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of strong associates and as a result, strong sales. Perfect. Okay, the key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of strong associates and as a result, strong sales. Okay, now Ana Claudia, please explain that point, please, to me. <laughs> what do you understand out of it? Oh, I totally agree with that because the most you get the trainings, uh, the better you know your product. And if you have the knowledge, you have the power. I feel uh, identified with this uh, sentence teacher because... Okay, um, what do you understand with this phrase? To reap the rewards. Uh, is to, like something is coming back? No. Yeah, please continue. Uh, like it's, uh, so the investment is coming back in, in a strong sales. Uh, the most you train your employees, they have the knowledge and they are able to get success and get more sales. So it's like a, and the reward is that 
what you see coming back is more sales as your rewards. That is the way I understand it. Yeah, recoger las recompensas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> para el dueño, ¿verdad? Para quien, es, para quien invierte en yeah, el sure. mm -hmm. well, this, this is a very interesting word, rip. Rip, rip. means cosechar, mm. to be specific. But rip okay. is uh, cosechar in, in, eso, in studies or in learning. No, rip is cosechar in food. Uh -huh. Seeds, for example? Yeah, mm. but in this case, you can say cosechar or you can say recoger. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, now let's see next one. Oh my gosh. Ana Claudia doesn't like my square, but that's the list of the students I got. <laughs> Fernando, now knowing the competition is a priority. Please read it. Okay, teacher. Uh, knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Okay. Tell me, would you mind explaining that idea for us? Uh, I understand that if you want to beat the competence, you need to know about them and about the market, and use new strategies, new opportunities, and you, you need to analyze, 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 sorry, you need to analyze, analyze, sorry. Analyze. <laughs> analyze, yeah. You need to analyze uh, all aspects related with, with, your, with your competence in the marketplace. Okay, perfect, okay. thank you. Now let's see, Francisco Eduardo, would you mind reading the last one? Shift in store inventory is okay? Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, in this moment, I don't see. Oh, you're the... going to work. No problem. No problem. No, teacher. I, I am uh, going in the way. Okay. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't see, you don't the, see the screen. The, the, the screen, teacher. The, uh, only. Say, look, uh, but no I problem, don't no see problem. The, 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 the screen teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's see. Jose Osorio is going to help us. Mr. Osorio, please, would you mind reading shifting store inventory? It's okay. Mr. Osorio, hello. Hmm, perhaps having problems. Okay, Erwin, you got your microphone open. You are the chosen one. Okay, thank you, teacher. Chief, chiefing stores inventory is okay. <clears throat> Successful mercants or merchants? Merchants. Merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to cost, customer trends, work with uh, vendors. Consumer, and consumer trends. Consumer trends, okay. Uh, vendors are respond to what customer want and if, uh, uh, that is how you are able to effectively buy inventory to your stores. Effectively, effectively. Effectively. Okay, now please explain that idea to me, please. How do okay. you get it? How do you understand? It's, it's easy. Um, I, I need to ask to my customers uh, what they want and I am going to offer them uh, the products that they want, they, they want to, to, to buy. 
Okay, would you mind giving me a practical example, perhaps from your company? Well, uh, some people are demanding uh, Kraken octopus. Yeah. Uh, because when I want, uh, when I am going to, when I passing uh, to 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 talk with my customers uh, in the table, they they told me that they they expect that the the next uh, visit they can find this delicious food in in this restaurant. So uh, I am going to prepare the, the recipe in order to offer the best quality in this product too. And you are going to shift store inventory because you are going to buy the, the, the product so it's available for the customers, right? Exactly. Okay. Thank you very much, guy. Well done, well done. So we got us here four questions. Why are scheduling time limits and deadlines important to a retailer? Why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? What is a good way to get to know the competition and how do retailers become able to effectively buy inventory for their stores? But these questions are a homework for you. I expect them tomorrow before the class. Perhaps if it's possible for you, just send me a picture of the answers. Okay, guys? Because now we are going to have more conversation. Remember, those four questions are homework. Now, let's see. I got a good one for you. I got a very, very good. I need you to please describe the ideal boss. Who's the ideal boss? What characteristics do you think the ideal boss should have? Okay, guys, you will discuss and you will present me one idea per group, okay? I need one description per group. Let's do it right now. You will have five minutes. Please jump in. Teacher, I don't have the link. I am I am trying to send you right now to a group. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Got you. Oh, here you go. Okay. There you go, Arwen. mi papá que está, ah, está okay. recién operado hombre y estoy ahí me desconecté un ratito oh but oh is he okay now yeah yeah just yes. he told me he, he called me yeah he is in his home and at home he's he's at home yes, yes. And home he told me. yes Okay. That's and nice. He told That's me nice. that he is, he is only need um, uh, I rest. guess yeah, rest around six weeks. Ooh. He needs to okay. rest. Yes. Yes, he um, le, le quitaron un riñón. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but um, they received a um, Medical, alta medica teacher, how we can say in English? Dismissal. Missal. Dismissal. Dismissal. Yeah, dismissal. 
Ah, ok. Yeah, yeah then, hey, only he told me that he needs to rest. Okay. Maybe he's going to, he's going to be right. Okay, I hope okay. he feels better. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. This is the very heavy group. My gosh. There's okay. Susana, Fernando, Wilfredo. Guys, who's the best boss for you? What characteristic does that person have? Well, the I best. think that someone who tried to understand you and try to uh, nah. I don't know. <laughs> the boss, the right. boss, the boss responsibilities is not to accommodate you, Roxana. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But I think that um, the best boss is someone who try to be a leadership no a leader a leader yeah a leader and maybe someone who has a uh, resilience re, re, no si sí. Resi, resiliencia yeah resilience resilience and I don't know maybe someone who try to understand you when you doing so, something wrong because i think that uh, it's complex when you have a a boss a hard boss maybe uh, i think that um i don't know the best boss is someone who someone who try to understand when you uh, give a solution or when you, uh, I don't know, doing something wrong. Okay. You. Someone who the... hurt you. I guess, I, I guess teacher and Roxana that in many companies it is, it is hardly ever we are going to find a, a boss with this char characteristic because always um many bosses uh, always they never could we we could be understand because they they may be a stop of of when they harian the the exigir demand demand i guess but for me the ideal boss could be when when our bosses told told us let's do it for me because many bosses always told you you have to do it you have to do it but hardly ever we can find some boss that told you let's do it or let's play or let's or let's find a way together but i i guess that okay interesting continue guys is it is it person yeah no no in my case no but i here for the case <laughs> Is it is it going? Mm. No, I understand no. what you no. mean. Or is it going? Tranquilo. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Easy yeah. going is like me. I am very easy going. Uh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh. Uh. My boss don't have a lot of communication with me, but I doesn't think, communicate with me. Doesn't communicate with me, but I think that is is boy. <laughs> is this a going, but doesn't have any. Uh, doesn't this is a going because he doesn't talk to her. 
Yo. Get fat. I don't. ¿Cómo sería? I don't know. I you don't only deal with him. do my work. You don't deal with him. No trata con él. That's nice. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's different. He don't. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that happens. That happens sometimes, depending perhaps on the area. Maria Alejandra, I sent you a, a message here in Zoom. Check it out, please. It's okay. Perfect. Well, Wait, I let's guess see. Wait. Who's a boss? Daniel is a boss in his company. Uh -huh, Daniel. Okay, Daniel, let us know how. No, okay. I can see. I can see. You. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, uh, <coughs> uh, the perfect boss is someone to able to listen the the suggestion and timely support or or feedback. Mm -hmm. An open one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how do you say, teacher, una uh, persona que pida las cosas en un tiempo prudente, que no lo hagan correr? An understanding person. An no, understanding it's, person. Yeah, it's just that what you're referring to, I mean, in first different aspects, because it's not just an understanding person, but also a, a, a person who realized how much the job, how much time the job needs in order Need, to be done uh -huh. properly, right? Okay. Uh -huh. And a person who shows empathy with you. Yes, that's also good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the, the, the correct pronunciation, teacher? Willing or wiling? Willing. Willing. Willing, ah, okay. willing is to... something this different. Ah, uh, what's the meaning of the whaling? Uh, it's just that when you say whaling, it's a synonym of crying. Ah, mm -hmm. and it's it's actually it's like whaling, whaling. Mm -hmm. yeah, that would be the most uh -huh, proper. Yeah. And it's something different. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's willing to help you. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. There is everybody. Okay, guys, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see, let's see. I got Francisco, Eduardo, Nicolas, and Frank. Frank, tell me, your group, what did you talk about? Okay, we talk with Nicolas and Francisco about the question. Uh, we think that it's simple for us. Uh, the, the idea of boss for us is a person that, first of all, let led you to work about your own, right? I mean- On your own. On your own, yes, yes. Uh, the person that trusts in your capacity, in your abilities, in your knowledge. And instead of that, uh, he, he doesn't, he doesn't permanently in, Supervisation, I don't know how to say it. Supervising. Supervising and controlling all the time and watching you all the time. Uh, also, it's very important for us that this person uh, could be respectfully, okay. very, very humble and especially a, a good person in, in every sense of that word. And maybe a, a person that makes you work in a team, like a team with you, with the other co-workers, right? Okay, perfect, thank you. So, yes, thank you. Excellent, thank well you done. Too. Stephanie, what about your group? Hello. <laughs> Uh, well, we were talking about that maybe the perfect boss, it will be essentially someone that is patient and will be for you um, to make better the process, um, someone that be there when you need something and with kind of, kind, kind of like, um, kind of like kind but patient but no not um so rude okay and that's there fine. were uh, yeah <laughs> that's okay that's okay well guys uh thank you very much let me before we move along let me get the final attendance please Let's see. Uh, Amber Eliel Faro Gomez. Ana Claudia González Velasquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo. Present teacher, please. I'm sorry. Thank you, Amber. Present. No problem. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Yasmin Montarrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Hey guys, thank you very much. Teacher. Please, welcome Present, the platform. Teacher. Thank you, Susana, appreciate it. Work in the platform. Remember that today was the deadline for section number one. 
Have a good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Be on time. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Everybody. Good night. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Hello. I'm fine. And you? I'm just fine, just fine. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got to see you again. Hey, nice seeing you. How are you doing? Do you feel better? Mm, I don't know. I feel better because I don't feel with a fever or okay and don't have a lot of uh, sleep but my throat um, is done done my how do you say horse uh aha -huh, horse in the I think that the um uh, the change of the yeah the weather and the weather is not good but i feel better it's, than the it's Thursday. cold yeah. i love it i love it when it's cold yes i like it but in this moment i don't it's not that good for you it's not that good for me uh-huh Okay, tell me, Maria Alejandra, how do you feel in the course? Yeah, I feel good, teacher. Um, I feel that a lot of people in the course, <laughs> or I knew people. In oh, yeah, the there course. are some. Uh huh, but okay, I like I I miss to practice my English in the class. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Maria Alejandra, actually right now, the, in this module, I'm doing something a little bit different. I am asking the you, your classmates, you guys, tell me, uh, like we set like a project, uh, what, what would you like to have accomplished for the end of the course? Like uh, some of your classmates have told me models, some have told me verbs in past, and with those people, every class I'm, I, I write it down and I'm like, every class I remember with those persons, I try to introduce examples, perhaps related to those areas that are giving them problems. So tell me, which area would you like to improve for the end of the, of the course? Mm, I think that my problem, mm, I understand that what the topic I have a problem in my case. No. Okay. But do yeah. you ¿Cuál explain? Es, ¿cuál, es el tema, ¿Cuál es el tema que le gustaría, no? personalmente? ¿Qué tema, qué área le gustaría que reforzáramos en el curso para como una meta que tenemos para el final del curso? Ok, esto me está dando problemas, quiero mejorarlo. Mm, Perhaps uh, a grammar point or speaking or vocabulary. Tell me. I think that a grammar point when I say at night, in night or like this and I think oh, that I perceive at, uh, the same yeah. problem. At, in, on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I have noticed. I have noticed. Okay. <laughs> I will, I will look for a specific information for you. We have got information specific. And during classes, I will always try to give examples where we use them so you can like listen and your mind is going to start like recording. Because that's something that, I mean, you can get the rule, but you actually get it uh -huh. uh, by practicing. Yes. Maybe, yeah, but uh, yeah, 
the I don't know what yeah, the first courses are different or the same. ¿Cómo sería de la misma? Como manera. Wait, but, style. Uh, but the style because I start in a number five or four, I don't know. But I think that it's important to 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 uh verse or the different form of the verse because I see or I remember because I start English in the whole there or in the go in the schools or different. But that's I see cool. that's cool. <laughs> but other people don't have idea with a fast participle in change because it's a regular verse. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. And I mean, the only way that you are going to really improve is through exercises. You need to practice a lot and you can do written exercises, you can do listenings, and but practicing and trying to be interactive in classes is always good and that's going to help you. The other good thing is this, that you got classmates here who are in a good level and that also helps because you are listening to people speak properly or use the vocabulary in the proper way. So uh, I think you are doing okay, Maria Alejandra. Just that I'm going to try to make you speak a little bit more because some classes you are pretty quiet. Yes, but my excuse is I don't feel better. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know that you don't feel okay right and, now. Um, a lot of people knew and I don't, have the opportunity to talk or I don't know, it's difficult when the other people don't talk. <laughs> no, but, but it's okay. I try okay. to talk more in the class. I will make you speak more, don't worry. I will be asking <laughs> you like, Maria Alejandra. Okay, teacher. My dear, okay. have a good night. Bye. Tell what I, what I sent you, okay? Check it out. Yes. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Good night.
Well, that's the end for tomorrow.